He likes the light because of the warmth. For him, it makes him feel as warm inside as when he's attacking the Xbox logo. Oh wait, was that supposed to record? On my last video, I upgraded my computer from 12 years ago and I threw in a quad core in that and replaced the old Athlon. One of the things I tried to get done on that Athlon before I got rid of it out of that old machine was try to play Fortnite. Wouldn't play. I just couldn't accept that for an answer, so I'm gonna try it again, but this time in a better board with better memory. We'll see if we can make it happen. <laughs> this is the side that I want, and then you need to turn over like, oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. <laughs> So one of the wonderful things about the FX8350 is that I get random kernel freezing and then everything loads up all at once. A bunch of commands out of nowhere. I think that was hilarious timing because I just started saying that and it actually happened right in front of me. So one of the things I have to do is update Fortnite before I can get this show on the road. And I'm not going to update Fortnite while I'm on that slow-ass Athlon processor. So we'll just get this done real quick before I do the switch. This is going to take a while, so I decided to go ahead and load up my favorite fighting game of all time. Mortal Kombat 9? Mortal Kombat 9. Then I come back to see how the update's doing. Still downloading. All right, so I'm getting sick of waiting for this update to go too slow over the Wi-Fi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it in via LAN and get some gigabit speed to hurry up this BS, this hot BS right here. Uh, yeah, I love it, daddy. Oh, and- <laughs> Yeah, wrong plug, wrong hole. Is it going? Okay. There we go. That should hopefully make it quicker if I don't trip over the modem cable. All right, and it's updated and we're loading it and running it. We just have to wait for it to start. I swear it's not running out of steam. It just looks that way. And then we're gonna play some with the processor that's in there. And then we're gonna play some with this processor. The processor I know you've been wanting to see. The Athlon 2 Dual Core. Let's get this ball rolling. Of course, the AMD FX8350 is going to give me great performance. Even though this time it surprised me by not running full high def, I had to cut it down to 720p. What's up with that? Maybe it's a new update thing. That's not a great vote of confidence for when I throw that Athlon in. Let's do it anyway. Yep. Will it post? No. You're such a pessimist. 
You hear that, guys? You call me a pest. One, I think it is. Let's do F2. This move would actually come back to bite me in the butt later. Wait to see how. Oh my god. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, it worked. Go to the Basicer. Basicer. Okay. Like Kim Basicer? There it is. What does that say? AMD Athlon X2 245, speed 2.9 gigahertz. <laughs> Utilizing 100%. Wow. Let's get right into the meat of this. Let's load Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can overclock it. That when you feel like I'm sorry, are you talking about overclocking a how old again? 12 years? It, it'll, uh -huh. it's, how many, it's safe. What is it again? An Athlon X2, 2 core. And you want to overclock the 2 core? Yeah. How much do you think you're trying to get out of it? <laughs> <laughs> At least 2 more megahertz. We'll come back when it's up and running. Give it like, probably like one more month or so. Yeah, one more month, two more months. So from here it would load into a black screen instead of that Fortnite blue screen. And then it would crash. Okay, so I've already had to do one restart. I'm trying to figure out what I can do to get the game running. I'm gonna run a GeForce Experience to see if I can't calibrate the game down a little bit so it can at least start and get into some of the drivers, into some of the uh, load screens. We're going to go all performance and we're going to go down to uh, 1280 by 720 and we're going to apply. Okay. And we're going to hit play. I thought if I can get all the settings down as far as possible, I could at least get it to load. It was starting to show some promise right around here. And then I decided to go ahead and use the windows bar to try to record. And it didn't work, did it? Nope, it didn't work. So I started toying around with some of the BIOS settings just to see if I could do anything to the CPU frequency, but to no avail. The core was locked. I did notice that my 1600 megahertz memory was only running at 1066. So that must be where the bottleneck on this processor is. So after pulling the BIOS battery pin, I went ahead and booted it up again. And after resetting all of my motherboard settings, I managed to get it to boot. So I, in my hubris, I decided to run the Windows bar again to try to get it to record. And of course, I got to the load screen here, but you can see it is painfully slow. And then we load into those classic PS2 graphics. Then out of nowhere, it normals out. Texture. Boom. Eureka. However, I have zero control over anything. And then I got control over the menu. I'm gonna play it out in this entirety. It's what you call painful. This is the farthest we've made it. This is the farthest we made it. No, was it? Yeah, it was. Was it? Yeah, oh, this right. was. I'll be changing the 4K yeah, to kind of sink it in. I know, right? <laughs> I think you got more resolution in the camera than I'm going to have in game. I mean, not the 
Oh, oh. What? <laughs> PS2 graphics. Hey, this counts. I'm counting it. It counts. It it's can't. not moving yet, but... <laughs> Look at the fucking... What? It started. Okay. Look at the map. Oh my god. The map is horrendous, but I get... Hey, it runs. This is running. Oh my. Okay. Uh, oh! It's gonna crash. It's gonna crash, but I got into the map. I don't think it's gonna make it to a battle. I just don't see it making it to a battle. Oh my god. Then I did make it to a battle. Not only did I make it to a battle, I died. Ah! I'm counting it. It was glorious. I got it to load Fortnite in all of its 10 frame a second glory with low texture resolution at 720p running as optimal as you can get this processor to run it. Even giving it as beefy as specs as you can including a great graphics card and 16 gigs of memory. It did its best. And as I leave you with this footage of me not actually playing a video game, I want to give you this parting message. And there it is, laggy as hell and pauses over any major movement, but it runs. I got it to run through two battles, goes in, I had to finagle the hell out of the settings. It didn't want to run for anything, but it works. And there you go. That's all you can ask for is that Fortnite runs on your machine with two cores from 12 years ago. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for 12,000 subscribers. See you guys in the next video.